So, the energy, the intensity of what this mountain can transmit, what this peak can do to people is too phenomenal. If we have to generate this kind of energy, enormous amount of work has to be done, enormous. Here it's ready, sitting there. All you have to do is just look up and say Shiva. All you have to do is look up and be receptive to it, that's all. When such a energy basis is available, this is the kind of energy which can be a base for a whole spiritual revolution which can go through the country or through the world. So, uh, we're seeing how to build a needed infrastructure where people can come and we can give them the necessary tools, go through forty to forty-eight days of sadhana before they go up, some simple sadhana which everybody can do and they can go up and reap, become absorbed by this energy or at least absorb a little bit of that energy and come down or never come down. Because when Sadhguru Sri Brahma went up for the last time, he went up many times, when he went up the last time, he said he will come back. He went and left his body there. So, this is a mountain of a temple. If you have to create that kind of energy, what it takes is not simple. <coughs> it's not simple at all. It will be phenomenal work. So monumental, it's almost humanly impossible kind of work. But it's all done and kept ready, just in a natural form. If we don't make use of this, this would be very foolish, especially for the local population. It would be extremely stupid not to make use of this energy, because this can transform everything that human being is.